Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Out of Ammo, Out of Time. I'm your host as always, Krabby Terror 8 And here we are for a, another edition of the Investigator Games for Arkham Horror the Card Game going through Midnight Masks and this is episode 6 with Jenny Barnes. Yes, we're here with Jenny Barnes, the dilettante and she has brought her twin shooters and pearls along for the game. So yes, those of you who are new to the channel, uh, don't know what the Investigator Games is, think of it like the Hunger Games, but uh, in this case we take each Investigator true solo, and I'm doing this with uh, not only Arkham Horror the card game, but I'm also doing this with Eldritch Horror and also Elder Signs Omens. So I'm taking these Investigators true solo through the game, and depending on how they do, uh, they get put into a league table like this one. Now this league table, uh, as we can see, Roland is currently at the top of the table. This is an aggregate of their plays through the gathering and then into the Midnight Masks. So if you are new to the channel, I would really strongly urge you to go back to the gathering first and watch these investigators struggle through the gathering first, and then uh, you can then see how they do in the Midnight Masks. And by the end of the campaign, uh, at some stage in a year or so time, we will get to the end of all of these and we'll see who is the crowning champion investigator for the Night of the Zealot campaign. And then once we've done that, we'll start all over again and start with the Dunwich legacy and so on and so on. And in about 30 years time, I'll have finished everything. So there we go. Anyway, enough about the future. Um, and spoilers, if you haven't played Arkham Horror the card game before, you haven't played the Midnight Masks, please go and do that in real life or go and watch some introductory videos. I'm assuming you know this scenario, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that already, so uh, I would urge you to do that. Now, um, <clears throat> and the other change, of course, is if you have been watching my previous plays, you will have noticed that I'm no longer in Octagon. I am now on Tabletop Simulator, the Ultimate Edition. Whilst um, Octagon is fantastic in many, many ways, um, it has some downsides. Um, the newer cards are not available. Um, it's a bit of a pain to set up. So, um, you know, in Tabletop Simulator, you can insta-set up the scenario. The things I like about Octagon is you can see everything in one place. Uh, and it sort of manages the doom count for you. I really like those things, but unfortunately the negatives started to outweigh the positives, at least for me, and uh, so I've started using Tabletop Simulator instead. Uh, and this new version is really fantastic because it has everything in it, and it sets everything up for you, which is great. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, here is uh, Jenny. She's down here. Uh, standing by the house here in Arkham. It's four o'clock in the morning. Uh, as you know, we have to start early here in Arkham before the traffic kind of picks up. So as Jenny's waiting by the house, the crowds are gathering throughout Arkham to watch how Jenny is going to go in the investigator games. And it's been quite an exciting series so far because you just never know how things are going to go in the Midnight Masks. You never, never know. So uh, I had a chat to Jenny in the trailer, um, thank you Arkham Trailer Hire once again, uh, which we're using as a sort of a green room to see how she is, how she's going. She was a little bit disappointed with her performance in the gathering, I think she felt she should have done better. Um, but uh, she feels like she's got a good chance here in in um, the Midnight Masks, she feels like she's a bit better prepared than she was for that. And, uh, yeah, a little bit like uh, Rex, not too happy with the starter deck that she was given. So um, I had a chat to her about one or two other things. Now, she is of the belief that um, Joe Diamond and uh, Roland Banks are two different people. She, she assures me that she ran a charity concert event, and she did see both of them at that concert. But when I pressed her on that... She never saw them standing side by side, so she did see both of them, but she never saw them together at the same time, which is the whole point. So people keep saying that they're, 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 the, they're not the same pers people, person, but no one's ever seen them standing side by side, so the plot thickens. I guess we might see what Rex digs up uh, next time we talk to Rex. 
And the other thing is, um, I wanted to do a shout out for Jenny Barnes as well at the pre um, Midnight Masks party. Uh, not only did she actually fund quite a lot of the party, and her um, her Charleston was something to behold. Um, but importantly, she did a brilliant rendition of Smooth Operator. Uh, a very, very, very accomplished uh, jazz vocalist Jenny Barnes is. So if you, um, if you ever get a chance to, um, to, to be at any kind of event with Jenny Barnes where there is an opportunity for some kind of karaoke, I would urge you to get Jenny to do uh, Smooth Operator. Um, she would give Sade a run for her money any day. Anyway, so, uh, yes, yeah, so Jenny Barnes, um, well, as we said, her starter deck was left a little bit to be desired. It wasn't too bad. She made quite a few significant changes to it, as we can see here. Jenny had, uh, so yes, yeah, so Jenny had five experience, and what we were able to do is we were able to bring in Adaptable, first of all, which is a great card because it allows us to swap out some level 0 cards, which is perfect when we have these less than optimal starter decks. And then what we did was we made a whole bunch of changes. We put in another Leo De Luca. We brought in the 45 Thompson. We, um, in addition, we, um, we brought in um, as well uh, two Lone Wolves, which, you know, go perfectly in a Jenny deck to really get her... Um, get her money uh, money economy flowing. Um, <clears throat> we also, um, on top of that, we um, put in extra backstab, extra elusive, um, to um, ensure that um, we, we can really do well in the Midnight Masks. So um, all of those changes uh, really make a difference and really bump up Jenny Barnes's uh, deck somewhat, I think. Um, so I think uh, it makes it for a much stronger deck. I wanted to um, wanted to include Money Talks as well, but um, <clears throat> unfortunately, um, it just it just uh, I just wanted to get other things in there. So perhaps we'll get Money Talks in for. Um, the uh, devourer below so that's the new deck that uh, that jenny has which uh, i think is a much stronger deck than it was before so um that's fantastic so there we go okay let's draw our opening hand what do we want what do we want what do we want well of course we want leo and we want a gun and we want to be elusive if we can get all of those things, I think we're doing pretty well. So let's uh, see what we get. And uh, we get the gun. <laughs> That's it. We got the gun. Um, let's throw all the others in and see if we can draw into Leo. So we'll draw another four. And uh, no, we don't draw into Leo, which is a bugger. It's a real bugger, but anyway. Never mind, we can always hopefully find him or find him at Mars Boarding House, perhaps. But anyway, so there's our opening five cards. So, uh, yes, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do, which we can always do here, is we can draw a card and gain a resource. So I'm going to gain a resource and I'm going to draw a card. That's my first action. My second action, I'm actually going to spend the six and I'm going to bring out the Thompson 45, which uses up both hand slots. Uh, and then for my um, final action, um, I think we will investigate. So it's a shroud of two, and we are a three. So a minus one or better. Chaos bag gives us a minus two, so we fail. Okay, so opening wasn't so bad. We drew a resource and a card, we drew into emergency cash. We then brought out the 45 Thompson, so we've got a weapon on hand and we tried to investigate and we failed miserably. There we go, that's the end of the first round. So uh, let's move into the um, 
enemy phase. There are no enemies, of course, to speak of, so we'll move them into the upkeep phase. We'll flip those over. Take two resources, as Jenny can. We will draw a card. And what do we get now? We get a Derringer, which we probably, well, we might need it later, but we're not going to use it at the moment. So let's move up into the Mythos phase. Let's go up here. We're in turn two, first Doom. Let's let's just shuffle up the Encounter deck. And yes, let's see what we get uh, from the Encounter deck. And we start with a locked door. That's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? Because I think the locked door goes where there's most clues. Uh, attached location with the most clues, and that is indeed the house. So you've actually got to break down the locked door with a four fight or a four evade, which is a bit of a pain. Um, oops, that is a bit of a pain. It's a pain, but you know, there's worse cards. All right, so let's move into the investigation phase. Now we have a choice here. We could um, we could look to um, we could look to do that, but to be honest, rather than wasting time trying to get that clue, because we'd have to fight, then we'd have to get to clue. Let's just move to Rivertown, and there's a one trade location. So that's our first action. For our second action, we'll just investigate one versus three, so a minus two or better. And we get an auto fail. Oh dear, Jenny. So let's try again. And we get a minus one. We actually succeed. So we get our first clue. So things not going quite according to plan, but at least we've got our first clue. So what we'll aim to do is um, get to Southside. Hopefully, if we're lucky, it's Mars Boarding House. Uh, get the other clue and get the first cultist. That's what we'll do next time. So, uh, yes, that's the end of our turn. So this turn we um, move to Rivertown, we failed to investigate once, and then we succeeded the second time. No enemies to speak of, so we move into the upkeep phase. Two more uh, resources, we'll draw a card, where's Leo DeLuca, and we get pickpocketing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards on the table. We don't have to discard any. So let's move into the next Mythos phase. This is our second Mythos phase of the game. We're in turn three, Doom two. We're a third of the way through the first act. Let's see what the good old encounter deck has for us this time. And of course it has an Acolyte, which we will be wanting to dispatch. So let's move the Acolyte into Southside. Uh, not on south side. Let's put the acolyte here. Let's grab a doom and put that on the acolyte. Okay, three fight, one health, two evade. Okay, so here we are in the investigation phase. So um, we were just going to move and investigate, but we're going to need to move and fight this. Um, this acolyte. So let's do that. Let's just move to south side. Let's flip it over. Mars boarding house. Please, please, please. It's a hysterical society. We can draw three cards, so that might work. It's a three shroud location. And we have the acolyte here. Whoops, we should have grabbed the acolyte, shouldn't we? There we go. We'll grab the acolyte. Okay, so we need to get rid of this acolyte. So here's a three fight, and so are we. We could use our Thompson and submachine gun him. Um, yeah, why not? Okay, so you get plus two, plus one. Oh, it feels like overkill, doesn't it? Well, we could throw in our Derringer and make it a four versus a three. I think we use it. All right, so we use the 45 Thompson. So that's a five. Whoop! That's a that's a five because we get plus two for the forty-five times. So plus five. So five versus three minus two or better. Chaos bag gives us a skull, which is minus one for each doom. So we succeed and we kill the acolyte. Fantastic. So that was our first action. No, that wasn't. That was our second action because we moved, we killed, and now we're going to investigate. Yep, because we move from Rivertown to Southside, and we're going to investigate. So it's Shroud of Three. 
Um, and we are a three. Hmm. Well, we can make that a four. Don't really want to get rid of any. So let's make it a four versus a three. See if we can do it. Minus one or better. Chaos bag gives us a minus one, so we succeed. Good job we did that. Four versus three. Uh, we get our second clue. Okay, so next time we can bring out the first cultist. Great. All right, so we are moving not quite as fast as I would have liked, but we are moving ahead. That's the main thing. So we move into the enemy phase. There are no enemies to speak of, so we move into the upkeep phase. We flip over these. We get two resources. We're up to six, ready for Leo De Luca, which he's going to come along right now, and he doesn't. But a flashlight is welcome because we need some way of getting more clues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Okay. We will move into the Mythos phase. Let's shift up here. Turn four. That's the third of the way through. Three Doom. Let's see what the good old encounter deck has for us this time. And the encounter deck has, oh yes, Hunting Shadow. You must either spend a clue or take two damage. Let's take the two damage at the moment. I'd rather not be delayed any further. Okay. So we'll move into the investigation phase. Three actions. Do we want to bring anything out? I feel like we should. I know it's taking time, but I feel like we should spend two and we should bring out hard knocks because um, I feel like we might need it, you know, for things like the masked hunter. Uh, now we will then spend the two clues uh, and we will bring out our first cultist. And the first cultist is drum roll. Let's roll these up. First cultist is ah, fantastic. Well, that's handy. Ruth Turner. Um, we just have to evade her or kill her, one of the two, and she's going to sit in the hospital. Hostable. Um, well, now that we've got actually hard knocks onto the table, our capacity to do that is greatly improved. Yes, so um, I think we play emergency cash. Uh, I've just realized, though, that I should have spent two for hard knocks. I thought I did, but I clearly didn't. So that should be down to four resources. Then we add emergency cash, which brings it up to seven. That's, yeah, that's it. There wasn't six resources. Something must have happened when I was spending it. But there we go. Those are three actions. Okay, so that's the end of our turn. First action was we spent the clues and we got, um, we got an occultist on the table. We got Ruth Turner down on the table. Our second action was then to um, bring out hard knocks. And our third action was to put, bring in emergency cash. So we are now very well prepared to deal with Ruth Turner next time. So enemy phase, Ruth Turner isn't going anywhere. So we will move into the upkeep phase. Uh, flip these over. Two resources. Draw a card. Ah, and we get psychosis. Of course we do. Right, so take one or more horror, take one or more direct damage. Okay, we're going to avoid that. Oh dear. Okay, so we move into the mythos phase. Let's go up to the here. We're on turn five. Doom of four. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us. And it's again a uh, hunting shadow. Spend a clue or take two damage. It's not taking horror, so we take two damage. Oh dear, so that's uh, four damage we've now taken. It's getting a bit much. Um, so yes, so there we go. So we move into the investigation phase now. There are four dooms, so we've got two turns, hopefully, before the Mouse Hunter comes out. Um, do we... Uh, it's whether we get rid of this Psychosis now or, or seek to get Ruth Turner. I think St. Mary's Hospital allows you to actually heal some health, so that's what I'm going to do. Sorry. I'm going to move to um, St. Mary's Hospital. Oops. Ooh, we're super big. Um, so we will flip St. Mary's Hospital. 
And I think you heal three damage there. That's nice. But we can't do that at the moment because we have Ruth Turner on our case. So there we go. So we moved. That was the first thing we're doing. The second action is we're going to evade Ruth Turner. So she's a five and we're a three. Um, so I'm going to use pickpocketing, which gives us a four. A four versus a five, that's still minus one. But we could make that, so we can just, yeah, so we can make that a, so we're a four versus a five. Oh, what happened there? A five versus a five, a six versus a five, a seven versus a five, an eight versus a five, a nine versus a five, ladies and gentlemen, minus four or better. Chaos bag gives us zero. <laughs> That was way overkill, but that doesn't matter. That's the whole point. And we get our first victory point with Ruth Turner. Very nice. So that was our second action, evading Ruth Turner. So uh, that's what we do, don't we, with Ruth Turner? Let me just double check again. Uh, yes. Yes. So that's what we did. We've got one action left. Um, so what do we do with our final action? We heal the three damage. So with our final action... We will heal three, and I think that means that uh, we can only do that once per game. So we've done that. So that's uh, that's our three heal. Fair enough. Okay, so that was a pretty successful round, considering we're suffering from psychoses. So we moved to the hospital. We then successfully we spent a ton of cash and successfully evaded Ruth Turner. And then we um, we healed ourselves uh, three damage, so we're back down to only one damage. Very nice. So we move into the enemy phase. There are I'm pretty sure no enemies to. Sp oh, why are there two? Ah, okay. Let's not use that one. Let's use this one. I prefer that one. Gives us two versions of Jenny Barnes. So we're at St Mary's Hospital. Um. There's no enemies to speak of, so uh, we can move directly into the upkeep phase. We'll flip these over, and we'll take two resources. We'll draw a card, and we get Lone Wolf. Nice. Well, that'll certainly um, really improve our our, uh, our economy if we do that. So I might spend I might spend a turn. Um, getting rid of psychoses and bringing out Lone Wolf. So we'll see. Let's first of all, let's see what the Mythos deck has. So we're in turn six. We now have five Doom. So this is going to flip next go. So this is before the uh, Mars Hunter gets us and we get False Lead. Well, if you have a no clues, False Lead gains Surge. So we will see what we get. And we get another one. So we discard that. And then we get a... Mysterious Chanting, place two Doom on the nearest cultist. Well, I don't think there's any cultist enemies either, so that gains Surge as well, I think. Oh, no. If there are no cultist enemies in place, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. So really, we can do any old cultist enemy. So I think the Acolyte is probably the best thing to, to do. So we'll bring out the good old Acolyte. And because the agenda is going to flip anyway, it's no big deal. So I could put him somewhere that we're probably never going to go again. So let's just stick him in the house over here, the empty location. Let's put a Doom on him for now. But, you know, it uh, doesn't matter because um, it's, it's going to flip over next time anyway. Oh, it's... I think it's two Doom, sorry. So that must mean it's three Doom on him, I think, isn't it? Place two Doom on him, if they're not going to just go and draw it. So that means there is actually three Doom on the cultist enemy. Luckily, um, luckily the, the, uh, you, you, uh, where is he? Where is he gone? Okay, luckily, uh, you do the Doom thing first rather than at the end. There's three Doom there. 
Okay, that doesn't matter. That's going to flip over next time, so the mass, excuse me, the mass hunter will be on us. So we need to be prepared for that. Well, I think there's a couple of things. We'll just, sorry, we'll just move this into the investigation phase. First of all, I do want to get rid of this psychosis. I don't want this psychosis on me. Because the other thing we could do is we could get the clue and start moving, but um, we really need to deal with this mass hunter. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two turns and get rid of the psychoses. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And then for the final turn, I'm going to spend one. I know I'm going to bring out the lone wolf. So which means now I better um I better I better bring out another and see if I can change it. Uh, flip. Hmm. Usually you can change it to a to a different um so I'm not going to use that actually. I'm going to use one of these. So this basically tells me to take a resource because otherwise I'll forget <laughs> basically. Okay, so that was our turn which really not not much happened. We basically um got rid of the psychoses and we brought out Lone Wolf. I wish we had Leo DeLuca but we don't, but I'm probably going to use this think on your feet to get away from the uh, mass hunter. Although we've, yeah, because we can, f oh, we can fight. Yeah, I think, ooh, two, we'd have to do it, we'd have to hit him three times. So I th think we can do it. Let me think. He's got six, and he's a fight of f four, I think. Is that right? And we'll be a fight of four with the we'll be a fight of five with the Thompson submachine gun. So and we'll have eight resources. So I think we can actually we can actually have a good go and actually kill him. So I think it's worthwhile trying. So anyway, enemy phase, no enemies to speak of. Well there is one, but he's sitting in the house. So we'll move into the upkeep phase where we'll flip these cards. Uh, and um, shall we'll make this into something like a two because then I can flip it over and it's yeah all right okay and um, we take two resources we draw a card ah nice sneak attack wow that actually that actually could be really really helpful okay so, um, yeah, we move into the Mythos phase. Um, so that means that all the Doom all comes off. So all this Doom. Because now the agenda has flipped. So there you go. Um, we're in turn seven. So this goes back down to zero. And the agenda flips. Oops. And there he is, the man himself. Yes, Natalie dressed, the masked hunter. Ready to go. There we go. Okay, let's see now what the good old encounter deck has for us. And hopefully it's something... Oh, it's another acolyte. Okay. Um, what do we want to do with this guy? Um... we probably want to kill him. So I'm going to put him here because we don't want him hanging around because it's like just an extra doom. All right, so there's already one doom down on the table. Okay, that could be worse anyway. So we flip this because we get an extra resource, up to eight resources. And here we are with the masked hunter. So he is a fight of four. So we've got, we've got this Thompson submachine gun has four... Um, bullets. So I think we go ahead and try and kill him. Why not? Um, let's go ahead. So uh, first action is to fight. Yeah. Um, so we are a three, four, five. Um, 
a five and let's make that a six. Whoops, no. Sorry, my mouse is one without demarcated buttons. So six, seven, eight. Eight versus four. Eight versus four. That was right. Four. No. Three, four, five, eight. Yep. Eight versus four. Chaos bag gives us a plus one. So we do two points of damage. Successfully shoot him with the Thompson submachine gun. Let's do it again. So we will fight again. Same thing again. So we are a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight versus four. Chaos bag gives us a minus two. So we do another two points of damage. So we just need to do him two points of damage now. Um, I think we go for it. Why not? Let's just see how we go. So we will shoot him again with our final action. So we are a three, five, seven this time. That's a seven versus a four. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this in and make it an eight versus a four. So a minus four or better, and we succeed and we kill the masked hunter. So that went well thanks to all the resources we had. And there he is in the um, victory display. Fantastic. Crowd goes wild. <sighs> and we got it right that time. We actually did the six points of damage rather than <laughs> thinking it's only four points of damage. So that was really just three fight actions. Um, and we succeeded in killing the Mars Hunter. So we moved the enemy phase. There are no enemies to speak of. So we move into the upkeep phase. So we'll flip these back over two resources, take a card, and we get elusive. Very handy. So uh, yeah, we'll move into the next mythos phase. So we will shift up to here. Now there are, we're on turn eight. There are now two doom because of the acolyte. So let's see what the encounter deck has for us. Ah, oh, wizard of the order, oh my goodness any empty location. He's actually worse than the Acolyte. Um, hmm. Actually, he's a fight of four, so I think I want to use the, um, the Thompson, so I'm going to put him here. And um, he uh, he gets a doom on him for the end of the turn, and he's really bad because he gets them every single time. So what a pain. Okay. All right. So we move into the investigation phase. Uh, we get an extra resource, so three resources. Um, okay. Let's, um, for our first action, we're going to move. It's really annoying we didn't get Leo. We're going to move back to south side. We're going to, we're going to, whoops. We're going to deal with this wizard of the order. Okay, so he's a fight of four. So we're going to fight him again. We're going to use Thompson submachine gun. He's a fight of four. We are a five. Um, and, uh, six, seven, eight. So an eight versus a four again, success. So Wizard of the Order is dead. So we moved, we fought, we've got one action left. We've got no money. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this action here. Once per game, we can draw three cards. Okay, so we, um, first thing that we did was we moved, we uh, killed the, uh, the cultist, and then we used the once in a turn thing to, um, to draw three cards, and that's the end of our investigation phase.
So we will move into the enemy phase, and uh, there are enemies on the deck, but they're not doing anything. So that's the end of the enemy phase. So we move into the upkeep phase, flip these back over, take two resources, draw a card, another elusive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll get rid of one of the double or nothings. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Okay, so we will move into the Mythos phase. Let's shift back up here. So in turn nine, there is two Doom. Technically, there are three Doom on the table. Um, but there is two Doom at the moment. So let's see what the good old Encounter deck has for us. And of course, we get a Hunting Night Gaunt. What a pain, what a pain, what a pain. Ah, hunting Night Gaunts, I hate them. Okay. All right, so let's move into the, and still no Leo DeLucas or anything. So let's flip this over and take another resource for um, for Lone Wolf. Now, um, I'm thinking, um, now this isn't a revealed location, so we're here. It's not really worth it to use Elusive, really, is it? We're pr better off just, um, just evading, I think. Um, probably. That's probably the best thing to do. So we're going to just look to evade this hunting night gaunt. Um, it's a it's a uh, evasion of one, and we are a three. I'm going to try and just do it without spending anything first of all to see whether we can do it. So one versus three, chaos bag gives us a skull, which is a minus one, I think. Uh, yes, which is a minus two, so that's a three versus three, so we succeed and we evade, whew, close, the Night Gaunt. There we go, so that's the first thing that we do. Um, yes. Um... I think the second thing we do is we move to Miskatonic University and we seek to get rid of this acolyte uh, here. So, um, so it is a um, so that was a move. So it's got a fight of three, and we have a fight of three. Um, what do we do? What do we do here? Um, do we use our Derringer? Because we do have our twin 45s. So maybe we make it a four. A four versus a three. A five versus a three. A five versus a three. Chaos Bag gives us a, a uh, Elder Sign, which means we kill the cultist. So there we go. Oops. Delete that. So there we go, that's our action. So we've successfully evaded the Night Gaunt, we moved to the university and we killed the Acolyte. That's the end of our turn. Okay, so we move into the enemy phase. Now the enemy is evaded, so can't do anything. So we immediately move into the upkeep phase, flip over uh, our actions, take two resources, draw a card. What do we get this time? We get another Lone Wolf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've still got eight. Which we, we've already got a lone wolf, so we don't need two. So uh, that's the end of the upkeep phase. So we move into the mythos phase. So where are we now? We're in turn 10. There is now three doom down. We have five turns to go. So if we can get an, at least another cultist, that would be probably that what we would aim to do. But before we do that, the encounter deck's probably going to bugger everything up. It kind of is. On the Wings of Darkness, test four. If you fail, take one damage and horror. Oh, we don't want to do that. Ah, so we are a three. We can pitch in this lone wolf and make it a four. Probably this, so that's a five. Uh, five versus a four. Oof. And let's do six, seven. Seven versus four. Chaos bag gives us a minus one, so we succeed. Okay. 
All right, we move into the investigation phase, which means we put down another resource. Hmm. Um, oh dear. Okay, well, I think the thing that we want to do here is we want to get some clues. Uh, we're in a shroud of four, so we don't have much chance of that. So I'm going to spend two, and I'm going to bring out the, the, um, the flashlight, which means we get rid of the Thompson machine gun, um, and uh, go ahead and investigate. So that was our first action. Oh, I should have actually... I should have righted the uh, the hunting nine gold, which is going to be a pain actually because um, it's going to be after us. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some Benny Hilling, I think. So um, second action is to investigate. So that's that reduces it to a shroud of two, and we are a three. So it's a two versus a three. Two versus three. Chaos bag gives us a tablet, which I don't think is good. That's a minus three. If you play it, fail, place one of your clues. Well, we don't have one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up to north side. Um, because I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be caught out, and maybe we can get the clues that way. Okay, so that was a bit of a frustrating round. We brought out the flashlight. We then failed to investigate, and then we uh, we moved up to north side. So a bit of a frustrating round. Nothing, nothing uh, much happened. There we go. So we move into the enemy phase. So of course the hunting night gaunt flips to Miskatonic University. Um, and then we move into the uh, into the upkeep phase. So we flip these over. Doink. We get two resources. We draw a card. Still no oh there he is. Well, really late. <laughs> very late to the game. That's very frustrating. Anyway. So uh, let's see what the Mythos deck has for us. So we're in turn 11. We're halfway through uh, the agenda. Still no more cultists on the board. It's very frustrating. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us. The encounter deck has a Crypt Chill. Um, okay. Test four, discard an asset you control. So we are a three. I don't think we've any way of, no. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to take this one on the chin. We get a minus one, so we fail, which means we either lose Lone Wolf or Hard Knocks or the Flashlight. Hmm, that's actually quite difficult. Which one are we going to get rid of? Um, Hmm. I think, I think realistically speaking, yeah. with the hunting night gaunt hunters, it's going to be hard. There is another flashlight. I'm going to get rid of the flashlight. Yeah. Even though I don't want to, I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. All right. Let's just get rid of those. Okay, so there we go. That's the end of the Mythos phase. So we move into the Investigation phase. We take another resource, now up to four resources. Um, so we're here at uh, Northside. Spend five resources, gain two clues from the token pool. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to, first action is we're going to get another resource. Second action we're going to spend those resources and get two clues from the token pool. And for our third action, I'm going to move again because I don't want to be annoyed by the night gaunt. So we'll move to downtown. Um, what does it say here? Gain three resources. Okay. Lots of things we can do. So the next time we will get the um, 
get the, get the cultist out and hopefully we can deal with that cultist. So basically what we did this turn was we um, got an extra resource. We, um, we then spent the five resources to get two clues and then we moved. Okay, enemy phase, the good old hunting night gaunt moves up to north side. He's after us. Um, so we move into the upkeep phase. So we flip these over. Doink, two resources. Yep. Card. Ah, searching for Izzy. Okay. Location farthest from us. Well, at least we've got elusive, I suppose. What's the location farthest from us? Now we're here, so one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, that's three, one, two, three. Well, I don't think there's anything that's four, one, two, three. So we've got we've got lots of different choices of where we could put Izzy. I don't really want to put the put Izzy here. The graveyard might be is that one, two, three? Yeah, the graveyard might be a good place because it might be good to go there anyway because it's got a low. So I think we might put her in there. Go to the graveyard anyway. Hopefully we'll get Herman Collins and then it'll all work out. Okay, so that's the upkeep phase. So we move into the mythos phase. Um, it's turn 12. Five Doom. We're really, really running out of time now. It's really annoying. And we get a locked door. And I think the locked door is where there are most clues. So I think that's either in Miskatonic University or Northside. Um, let's just put it in Miskatonic University. There we go. Okay, that's got a locked door on it. Okay. Let's just... Um, Give it, oh, it won't let me do that. Okay, we'll just remember it's there. All right, so that's the end of the mythos phase. So we move into the investigation phase, which means we get another resource. We have th three resources. And the first thing that we will do is we will spend the two clues and hopefully get Herman Collins. <laughs> so we go up here. Let's, let's come on, cultist. Who do we get? And we do. Wow, we get Herman Collins. That was super lucky. That was a very much a stroke of luck. So we now have both Herman Collins. So all we need to do is get ourselves to the graveyard and get Herman Collins and we're doing really well. So that was our first action. Um, our second action is, I think it's a pretty obvious thing to do. I think we spend two and we use elusive which means that we disengage and move to reveal location. So we will move to Rivertown. And our third action is to, that was our second action. Is it a fast play? No, it's a fast play. So it doesn't even cause an action. So uh, our second action is to move, uh, hold on, what do we need for, for, I think it's four cards, isn't it? It's four cards, yeah. So our second action is to move to the graveyard. But we have to test three. If you fail, take two horror. Uh, I think you can. You don't go back, though. You can let me just read it again. After you enter the graveyard, test three. If you fail, you must either take two horror and move to Rivertown. Okay. So that was our second action, was to move to the graveyard. Now we're a three. We are a three. I don't think we have any way of dealing with that. So it's a three versus a three. Chaos bag gives us a plus one. Wow, we did it. And our final action. So that means Herman Collins is now there with us. Oops. So our third action is to spend four cards. Which four cards? Double or nothing. Let's put in. Um... Investigate, investigate. I think we just put in the vicious blow. Two, three, four. I think we do that. All right. 
so there we go. There's Herman Collins in the victory display. So there we go. There's our there's our third victory display. So uh, if we can all all our, if our, I'll be pretty happy if we can just investigate twice and succeed. Oh, we've got searching for Izzy, of course. So as we can get rid of searching for Izzy. Um, we can, and then we can get those clues. I think we're doing well. I think that's a pretty good outcome. So we move into the enemy phase, and indeed the hunting night gaunt um, moves back to Miskatonic University. So we move into the upkeep phase. So flip these over, take two resources, draw a card, and we get a knife. Not much help, but anyway. So we move into the Mythos phase. Where are we now? We're in turn 13. There are six Doom Dan. So we are literally, we've, we've got just enough time to finish what we need to do before resigning. Um, as long as we don't uh, get cards which uh, accelerate the Doom. Right. So let's have a look and see what the Encounter deck has for us. And the Encounter deck has an Obscuring Fog. Of all the things. Oh no. Well, at least it's... That's so annoying. So it's now... Plus two shrouds. So now the graveyard is a three shroud location. That is so annoying. <laughs> All right, we're in the investigation phase. We get another um, resource. So it's a three and we're a three. I don't think there's any doom on anybody. No. So uh, I think we just go ahead and um, search for Izzy, which is going to take two actions. So three versus three. I'm going to make that a four versus a three. Four versus three, searching for Izzy, and we get a minus two. Oh, boy. Jeez, I hate this scenario. Place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Oh, that is so annoying. That is really, really annoying of all the cards to get. A freaking, oh, obscuring fog. I'm so mad. All right, so we've got one action left, but let me have a look here. This is on set, so this is going to flip next, guard, next turn. So uh, there's no time for anything. So I think we've got one action left. This is on seven. So this is going to flip next go. So that really messed everything up at the end there. I really thought we had enough time to do everything, but now we don't. So we're going to resign our final action. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a very, very frustrating ending for poor old Jenny. I really thought you know, things were going to go well. We got to turn 13. There are six Doom on the table. We um, we did do okay, though, in terms of the victory display. We got three of the cultists, and we got four victory points. So from that perspective, we did pretty well. But I was hoping we were going to end up with another victory point. But never mind. There we have it. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's Zoe's turn, Zoe Samaras's turn next time to go through the Midnight Masks. And uh, until that time, I'm Krabby Terror 8, and I will see you next time, and goodbye.